All right, in this particular recording, we're going to take a look at uh, an, a classic report and how you can format a specific cell using uh, jQuery. So let's go ahead and create our classic report. And we'll build this on our just a random table. All right, here we can see our classic report. And one thing I'm gonna do is just make sure that uh, our ID, which we'll use for the formatting, uh, is shown. So we're gonna hit save. All right, and we'll run it just so you can see the preliminary look, All right? So what we're gonna do in this is for, show you how to use jQuery to format um, the ID column in a custom manner, uh, however you like, based on the data inside of the column. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to our test report and create a new uh, dynamic action. And under our show action, we're going to mark this as execute JavaScript. The other thing we want to do is fire on initialization. All right. Now, um, our first code segment here is relatively simple. So we're going to output to the console log um, the color of the cells. Uh, then we're going to use jQuery to look through uh, for the table data uh, where the headers equals the log ID. And the log ID is the, the particular uh, unique name of the table in this case. Uh, and then we're going to output that data, that text, just to, as a simple test. So over here is our log ID. If I click on that, you can also get that from the column name. All right, so click Save. Go back here. Let's inspect this page. Go to Console. And if I refresh, here you can see that it outputted the values of the cells uh, on that particular page. All right, so with that particular segment, uh, the next thing we want to do if we want to style just certain cells based on data is write some CSS. So I'm gonna grab this segment, we'll go back to our page, go up to the page at the top, and we'll insert some inline CSS. Now, if you're new to CSS, this is simply gonna set the background color the font weight, uh, it's going to line the text to center, change the font color to white, uh, and then set a border of, of a light gray. And then we've got two different types of formatting based on the data, one be low and mid targets. Obviously, you could write as many of these as you want. So with that in hand, we'll go back to our JavaScript code, and we'll grab our next segment of code. Now in our next segment of code, uh, we're going to simply loop through each of the rows and then apply the CSS based on the, um, the data. So once again, you can see here uh, our, our same functionality as before, looping through the headers with the, for the log ID column. Only this time, uh, if the value of the column is less than 1350, uh, we're going to insert the class called low targets. What this will do in this particular case is it'll insert, you see that it applied the CSS to, to those, only those rows, leaving everything else there. So if you have an exec dashboard or something you need to call out, this is one way you can call up particular cells or, or make it match formatting that you need. All right, let's go back and we'll add some more complex logic. Um, really, this is just building uh, more if statements here, but uh, we'll grab this segment. Come back in, and now you can see that we're going to style with low targets anything below 1375, and style with mid targets anything between 1350 and 1400. So hit OK. And there you go. So we use this on a number of cells, but clearly you could even isolate a single cell if you want in a classic report.